Summer's coming. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are here today to talk about changing your gear over for the seasons. Now, this is kind of a weird video to make, just in the sense that depending on where you live in America, uh, this may or may not actually apply to you for a couple different reasons. I mean, you, you need to remember, America is a very big place. Uh, it's the third largest country in the world by landmass. Also by population, actually, that's your, that's your tidbit for today. Anyway, because America is so large, right, not all of you get four seasons. Um, I'm up here in South Dakota, I grew up in Minnesota, and so we get seasons. Like, winter means something in Minnesota where I grew up in, uh, and summer means something. It has hot summers, it has cold winters, and there's, there's a fall, and there's usually not much of a spring. So it's like a three and a half-ish uh, season state, right? If you're up in Maine, you probably get kind of the same thing. If you're down in like Southern Texas or Arizona or even Florida, yeah, I mean, you technically have seasons, right? But you don't have that cycle of like cold, hot, cold, hot. You get down to like, I don't know. What do you get down to down there? Maybe like in the 50s? I don't know. Maybe, maybe every once in a while it snows and it's like, what's this? I'm making fun of all you people. My point is, is that your gear changeovers might be different, right, than mine. So when I go from the cold season and we, we start to go into the warm season, right, we start to go from that winter to summer, uh, there are certain gear changeovers I make. Now, yours might be a little bit different or you might run your summer gear, you know, longer throughout the year. Maybe you run it like nine months out of the year and then you run your, you know, winter gear or cold weather gear because... Maybe it doesn't snow there, whatever, uh, for those other three months, right? So your season changeovers and your rhythms are probably going to be a little bit different than mine based on where you live. But I do think that it's very important that as the seasons come and go, we start making those changeovers. So these are my kind of summertime changeovers. These aren't necessarily all my summertime changeovers, but this is kind of my rhythm and, and it's getting to be about that time where I'm going to officially kind of move my gear into summer mode. And so these are some of the changes that I'm making. Maybe they'll help you, maybe they won't. Here we go. So my first changeover is boots, uh, boots and socks. So about six to nine months out of the year, I run the rat uh, boots. They're insulated, they're waterproof, they're the, the marine rat boots. Rugged old terrain or something like that. Uh, great boot, actually. I really like that boot. And uh, I run those things pretty much all through the winter. I mean, down into like the zero degree cold, I just throw on extra thick socks and like a, a sock liner, which is essentially just like two socks, but whatever. Um, and so if I can run a really thick sock in them, they're, they're pretty solid. I really, really like those boots. So these are my summertime boots. These are the Garment uh, NF, what is this here? Uh, NFS, T8 NFS boot. And these are just a hot weather summertime boot, right? They have the vents on the side. Um, they're not waterproof. Uh, these are just, the, honestly, the only pair of real summertime boots, hot weather boots that I've tried. Um, and I've just, I've liked them and I've gone with them. Uh, I haven't had any complaints. You might have some other different, better boots out there, but these are the ones I switch over to in the summer. Super light, super breathable, not waterproof, which sucks. Um, you know, there's trade-offs you're gonna make there, right? But those are the ones, like I said, that I currently go with. The other thing that I change over, and this might be weird, is socks. Um, so in the winter, I run like a thicker mid-weight sock, you know, in the winter, summer, whatever. Uh, but for summer, these are, these are a darn tough sock, which I found out recently, they're like gun control supporters, so don't buy these specific ones, but buy something else. But again, lighter weight hiking sock. Has a little bit of cushion on the bottom, but it's gonna be a lighter weight, more breathable sock. Because again, I'm thinking, you know, in South Dakota here, in the summer, we're gonna get up into the 90s, into, into 100, and so I wanna stay as cool as I can, particularly in my feet when I'm, when I'm moving around. So that's one of my transitions that I make for the summertime. The second transition that I kinda sorta make, depending, right, is I wear a hot weather uniform. So this is a proper um, multi-cam shirt that they make, they make for the Army and the Air Force, I think. Um, and this is their hot weather, hot weather version. As far as I know, you can only get these in multi-cam. I wish someone would come along and make a hot weather version uniform shirt in Woodland. Um, I'd be a big fan of that. Maybe you know of one, if you do, let me know. I'd be really interested in that. Uh, but 
I will on and off wear the hot weather shirt. I say on and off because I like woodland. I try to run woodland with my boys. It's just, it's kind of our, our color. But having hot weather uniforms, these actually do make a difference. Uh, I've worn this multiple times. This actually breathes really well. Uh, you know, they don't have the chest pockets on it, which is... Oh, that probably covered up the microphone. They don't have the chest pockets on it, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but honestly, when you got a chest rig on and stuff, you can't access that anyway. So I don't know if it matters. But they do breathe better. I do feel cooler when I wear these. Big fan of the hot weather uniform when I can wear it, um, when it's IFF appropriate and all that kind of stuff. So again, if, if you can find the uniforms in the patterns you like, prefer, slash goes with your crew, um, having a hot weather uniform is gonna behoove you and it's gonna help keep you cooler. I'm not a big fan of like the uh, weather wicking shirts and stuff like that because I don't really like polyester. Um, and, and a lot of those, I just don't like putting oil products next to my skin. You know I mean? They call me crazy. Um, so a lot of those don't, don't jive with me. I'm looking at maybe getting like some light merino wool uh, t-shirts this summer. We'll see if I do that. Uh, to help kind of get that under layer of, of breathability, right? But I don't like polyester next to my skin when I can help it because as I'm getting older, I'm getting more and more picky. The last uh, changeover I make is I'm gonna go back to my Yoke Pack for the summer. I'm a big, big fan of the Yoke Pack. I've done a video on this before. Um, I've talked about different packs for different mission sets before on this channel in this, in this American Minuteman gear series here. Um, so, you know, I'm a big, big fan of the Yoke Pack. Uh, but for the summer in particular, I think it shines because I can carry three liters of water in here, which in my opinion, in the summertime, again, depending on where you live, et cetera, et cetera, three quarts becomes the minimum. Uh, I, I like to carry you know, three in here, and then I'll probably put one on my chest rig so I'm, I'm carrying a full gallon of water, and that'll allow me to have some flexibility and some options. So big fan of at least carrying three on you when, when it's summertime. I like the Yoke Pack because it just carries less stuff, right? In the summer, I don't need to carry layers like I do in the winter. I need to usually beef my pack up in the winter because I need to carry extra gloves and maybe a stove for cooking and, you know, just extra stuff, right? And all that, it's, it's gotta go somewhere. It doesn't even necessarily weigh a lot. It just takes up volume. But in the summer, I'm gonna wear my T-shirt. I'm gonna maybe wear that hot weather shirt uh, or, or a different field top. You know, and that's, that's it. I'm not carrying extra, extra layers and T-shirts and gloves and all this stuff. I'll probably carry some extra socks because you should always have a pair of extra socks on you. But that's, that's really about it. So I want to strip down. I want to carry as little stuff as I can, especially because it's going to be hot out. I'm going to sweat no matter what. I want to minimize that exertion as much as I can, right? So I'm probably going to go back to the Yoke Pack at least over the summer uh, so that I can, like I said, carry less stuff. And this, this is just a real, this pack in particular, it's just real stripped down. So there's not as much like sweaty, heavy foam, you know, cushion material and stuff. I mean, this one's got, I bought this off of eBay and it came with these uh, shoulder straps. So it's, it's pretty stripped down um, shoulder straps and stuff. So it's not, you know, like I said, super padded, taking up a lot of surface area, stuff like that. So those are my kind of summertime changeovers. Now your summertime changeovers might be different. Like I said, your seasons and your times of the year to change your gear over might be a little bit different. But the point here is that as the seasons change in your area, for your circumstances, et cetera, et cetera, uh, that you should be making those changeovers, right? And ideally you should get to the point where you have, you know, your, your winter kit. And I, like recently I took all my winter stuff, I put it in one packing cube, right? It's got my gloves in there, it's got my extra special layers, I need to add my special socks in there, like it's got my special winter stuff. So that now when we get into the winter season, I need to do my gear changeover, I'm gonna grab that packing cube, kind of take out what I want and what I'm gonna know is gonna live in my pack for the season, and I'm gonna put it in there. And then we should do the same with your summertime stuff, right? You should have your little packing cube or whatever so that as we, we put the winter stuff away in its own packing cube, we pull the summer stuff out and, and we change that over. So I think that's something for you to be thinking about as you move through the seasons, as you, you know, again, care for your gear and, and understand what the next steps are. So have a plan, make your changeovers. Uh, this is usually the time of the year I'll swap my batteries out of my optics or you know, my carry light or whatever, if I haven't swapped them in a while. So have these rhythms built into your gear so that you're caring for it. And you can be a minute man who's ready to go at a minute's notice, not a half hour man, because that just doesn't sound as cool. Hope that's helpful. Hope it gives you something to think about. Do brave deeds and endure.